good afternoon and welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me. This is going to be a reading for the sign of Libra. As promised earlier. Alright, Spirit, can you please give me guidance here? Can you give us divine protection? Help me to channel the energies in the collective surrounding sign of Libra for the highest and greatest good. Guide me. Open my eyes, Spirit, to what I need to see for the sign of Libra. Holy Spirit, how are you working in Libra's life with the virtue cards? What virtues are you working on in Libra's life today, Holy Spirit? Thank you. Libra, you're content, baby. You're content with things. And you're taking care of your money. Taking care of your money, being content, and showing respect. Well, maybe you're expecting respect from others. Alright, Spirit, how do you want to do this? What's the overall tarot energy for the sign of Libra, Holy Spirit? Libra, you've been in hermit mode, baby. And the chariot in reverse. Okay. Maybe you're planning on trying to move, but you haven't, haven't made any progress there. It seemed like that's what was going on with you last time I read for you. Alright. Angels, how are you working in Libra's home life? How are you working in Libra's home life? Purity, blessings, and nature. Libra, you're working on your purity, huh? Clean yourself up of anything toxic, foods. Uh, you might be trying to, to go to a more natural way of living. And probably some of you might even be working on being celibate. Just taking care of your body, taking care of your surroundings, and making things purified in your life, in your home life. How about Libra's work life, Spirit? What are you doing in Libra's work life? I'm hearing the name Jeremy. What are you doing in Libra's work life? Putting people and places in the right spots to move you forward, Libra, in your work life. Spirit's making, Spirit's putting things where they need to be for your highest and greatest good so that you run into the people you need to run into. You meet the people you need to talk to. You're communicating with the right people. And, and if you feel like things are falling right into place, it's because Spirit is making that happen for you, Libra. What surprises do you have for Libra today, Spirit? Here it says beauty and faith. And maybe you're realizing how beautiful you are, or maybe you're realizing how beautiful your faith is. Maybe you've been fighting about faith. Maybe you've had some questions about your faith. And you're realizing that faith is a lot more beautiful than you ever realized. How are you working in Libra's love life, Holy Spirit? I'm hearing the name Dominic. Unity. You have unity, your Libra, and miracles. Huh. Uh, Spirit's working miracles in your love life when it comes to unity. Somehow you have had unity, and it's a miracle. Okay, and then on the bottom of the deck, we have mercy. Spirit's going to give you mercy. All right, Spirit, what do you want to do next? Let's get a message from the uh, moon deck, moonology deck for you. Talking to you about Libra's home life here, this nature, blessings, and purity, Spirit. What do you want to say about that from moonology? Spirit says, believe in the impossible. It's a time to give rather than receive and look at the bigger picture. So right now, Spirit wants you to believe in these miracles down here. Spirit says it's time to give rather than take and look at the bigger picture. Maybe you have children, family, grandchildren that you're looking after. And Spirit is helping you to provide for these people 
and to see a bigger picture here. There's something impossible, though. Maybe this is the thing that you're fighting in your faith. All right, talk to me about Libra's work life, Holy Spirit. We have the full moon in Sagittarius, the new moon in Virgo, and a blue moon. Spirit says there's something new about to happen, Libra, in your work life. Spirit's fixing to do something new in your work life by putting the people in places right where they need to be for your highest and greatest good. That's the new moon. So by the new moon, Libra, you should be having a new start. And the new moon should be coming up very soon. So it looks like you're going to have a new start coming real soon, Libra, by the new moon in your career life, your work life. Talk to me about this faith being beautiful as a surprise for Libra. Talk to me about this beautiful faith. Spirit says you have a Spirit's surprising you with a beautiful faith. Maybe by this miracle. Your dreams need a practical plan and it's time to release negativity. <clears throat> <coughs> and this is about faith and beauty. So, maybe the faith that you've practiced wasn't working for you. Full moon in Scorpio is here. Full moon in Taurus is here. And Spirit is allowing you to release any negative thought patterns or anything negative. Anything negative. And is allowing you to have a practical faith. A faith that works and is beautiful and is not negative. So, maybe you recently released negativity and you've taken on a different kind of faith than you were traditionally raised in. Alright, talk to me about these miracles and this unity for this love life. Here it's giving you miracle in your love life, Libra. There's going to be healing. There's a time for healing and there's going to be a miracle and unity. Somebody in your life that you love is going to be healed. And you're going to have union with this person. Libra. <clears throat> and a reunion with this person. Nothing is yet set in stone though. On the bottom of the deck. Alright Spirit. What does Libra need to surrender. To look at the bigger picture. To give rather than take. And to believe in the impossible. What does Libra need to surrender. Surrender resentments. So, maybe there's somebody in your life that you've been holding a resentment against. And Spirit is encourage, encouraging you to let that go. That's a time to give. Maybe you're going to show this person this mercy and this grace. And you're going to try to forgive others for their shortcomings and keep moving forward towards positive situations. And surrender to play. Spirit wants you to be more playful. Take a break from overthinking. Do something fun. Play. It's a time of recreation and rejuvenation for you, Libra. Alright, how about work in this new start that's coming for the sign of Libra? Spirit. Spirit says, surrender to wonder and awe, divine timing, and the wisdom of your body. Spirit is about to do something amazing for you, Libra, with this new start. Maybe somehow it is involving um, something with the body and maybe you work in a spiritual practice or you're going to work in a spiritual practice with this new job and you're going to just be blown away by the opportunity that spirit opens up for you with this spiritual practice. All right, talk about this surprise. What needs to be surrendered to release this negativity? Surrender to your soul's path and effortlessness. That's this practical plan right here. Stop trying so hard and just allow spirit to unfold what's best for us in every moment and in every lesson. All right, talk to me about this healing that's going to take place and this miracle that's coming. Spirit is amazing, y'all. Look, spirit said just surrender to miracles, Libra. You're about to see a freaking miracle in your love life. Somebody in your life that you have been away from or broken with, some relationship with somebody in your life that you love is about to be 
restored, Libra. And then on the bottom of the deck is surrender to complete healing. Maybe you need a complete healing, Libra. <coughs> All right, Spirit, talk to me about the hermit. Why is Libra showing up in hermit mode like a Virgo here? Like a Virgo. <laughs> you remember that Madonna song, like a virgin? Why is the hermit here, Spirit? <laughs> Spirit, help me. I'm so retarded sometimes. Why is the hermit here for the sign of Libra? Oh, because of this wheel of fortune. Something has happened that involves time. Show me what happened with this wheel. Somebody has a bird. What happened when this wheel turned, spirit? It was something to do with work. So you may, there may be a job that's ending. You might have a job that's ending. You might be about to start a new job. You might be in between jobs. And clarify the seven of pentacles is clarified by the hermit. Spirit, when you do that, it's like, you're right. You said it right on. All right, so there's something that ended to do with work. And you're going to start a new job. But right now you're just a, in Hermit. Hermit is clarified by Hermit. Like you're inside taking it easy. You're probably tired. Like I think this last job wore you out. And you're gaining some wisdom. And you're getting ready for this new whatever that's fixing to start for you. Alright, why is the hermit here then, since we haven't really discovered, because you're just, you're just tired. I think you're just tired. Like I just said, Spirit's confirming what I'm saying. Libra, you're just exhausted, and you need some rest. Talk to me about this soul's path here, Spirit, and this effortlessness. Spirit is about to make your dreams come true, Libra. Just simply make your dreams come true. Just oh, And communication just flew out over here on this relationship without me even knowing it. You're about to have communication with somebody that has not been talking to you or you have not been talking to them. And it's going to be a pure miracle that you ever talk to this person again. This is somebody that you had completely cut out of your life and never wanted to speak to again. Talk to me about this communication spirit. Here it said to get the other card. Okay, there's some fighting showing up on the bottom of this deck. Talk to me about this. Here, will you talk to me about this communication, please, for Libra over here? What does this person want to talk to Libra about? Can you show me what this person wants to talk about? Oh, wow, Libra. This person wants to talk to you about being true love, having a true love and it being fate, a destined partnership. They want to talk to you about somebody that's a true love and fate. That could be you or it could be somebody else that they're in love with. Anything else, Spirit? Hmm. My ears are stopping up, y'all. I'm hearing the name Jonathan. Strictly sexual turned over. I have true love, fate, and strictly sexual. This is two separate relationships. Like, they want to tell you that one relationship was strictly sexual, and this one is a true love and fate. And finances on the bottom of the deck. I think one of these relationships was not only strictly sexual, but there was a lot of money being spent irresponsibly. But in this particular situation, they were the true love and they were fated to be together. Alright. Talk to me out of this deck about this true love that's fated. Can you give me some clarity on that true love spirit that, this, that Libra's going to have communication from? Talk to me about this true love. Something that ended. That true love is something that ended. All right, talk to me about this strictly sexual. There's going to be healing. There was healing about the strictly sexual relationship. 
This one over here was true love, and it could be the same situation. And maybe things ended because it was strictly sexual, and they want to come back and talk to you about this. Anything else? What is Libra's energy looking like here in a spirit? <clears throat> You're awakening. You're making money. And this unity, you're awakening to how profitable this is. Wow. You, I mean, it just looks like you're awakening. Clarify union spirit. That's a lot of cards. One at a time, please. Clarify union. There was some destruction. Something happened that had to be healed. Clarify this union. Somebody was settling. Somebody was settling. Why were they settling? This is about that money. Somebody is awakening to the fact that they were settling with somebody they weren't supposed to be with instead of taking action. And it was a strictly sexual financial arrangement that needs, they, they have to get healing from this. What else, spirit? What else, spirit? What else is going to be communicated during this communication that we were going to get? Divine Masculine came out. This is about Divine Masculine, Libra. Maybe this is you. What about Divine Masculine Spirit? They were afraid. They were afraid and they couldn't tell you about the signs they were seeing about you being stuck and not wanting to compromise. Or about them. They were afraid and couldn't talk to you. The Divine Masculine was afraid and wouldn't talk to you. Or you were afraid and wouldn't talk to Divine Masculine about something that happened and they felt stuck and wouldn't and couldn't compromise. What about Divine Feminine Spirit? Divine Feminine had there's a current partner with free will, there you are, and there was some mirroring in the fall. Or there will be. Oh, but there's going to be a fresh start. Talk to me about this karmic partner. <laughs> they were guided in a new direction. <laughs> they found somebody else and went in a different direction. Alright, talk to me about this fresh start, spirit. Somebody's coming back. <laughs> Somebody's coming back, Libra. Somebody's coming back. They're going to return. And then this old cycle with all of this fear and unawakened healing, the healing's going to happen. The healing's going to happen. All right, Spirit. What would you say out of this deck for the sign of Libra? This could be somebody that you're already talking to, but stop talking to. It isn't personal. It isn't personal. Send a picture. You are not being heard. Maybe somebody sent a picture. And they got ignored. Something happened here. Let me see if I can find out. And then we have anal sex on the bottom of the deck. Why is, is it isn't personal here? Because they weren't working with this. Why is send a picture here? Somebody wasn't working on this. Why is send a picture here? <laughs> My masculine came out again. Why is you are not being heard here?
because this person was partying too much. They were having a little too much fun. One of y'all was having a little too much fun and was not listening to the other. Anything else you want to say about this relationship to the sign of Libra? What about this fire sign? What about this very passionate woman that likes to work out? What about her? Ooh. There's a woman. She might be a fire sign. She's a very confident, magnetic person. She... Anyway, Aries Leo Sagittarius. This is saying to me that there's no commitment because of some fighting about this man. There's been a, there's a man that's been fighting, and there there is no commitment anymore. There's a man that's been fighting with this woman, and there is no commitment anymore. Whoever this woman is. Spirit says that person is no longer dealing with this woman. They are out of the picture, okay? So maybe it's this woman who is no longer dealing with this man. But for some reason, they're not together and there's no happiness. Anything else you want to say about these two people? <coughs> there's going to be something exciting you're going to hear, like, about this fighting. You're going to get a message about this fighting. A letter, a text, something that's going to clue you in about this fighting. Somebody's going to tell you about it. And any illusions you've had about this are going to melt away. And why is that a significant spirit? Why are you telling Libra this? What is it you want Libra to, to know? Why is the chariot in reverse on the bottom of the deck? That's what's not moving forward, that relationship. There's a relationship that's not moving forward, and you're going to get communication about it. Wow. All right, because it's ending. It's ending, and this person is not dealing with it anymore. The Ace of Wands is here. Okay, this person is... They're taking action... They're at a crossroads, but they're taking action on an old relationship. It could be somebody that was a one-night stand, but they're about to take action on that instead. Can you show me who this is that they're taking action on, Spirit? Somebody that left and came back. Somebody that came back from the past. Sagittarius is here. Somebody that came back from the past that felt like they had to defend themselves. Why did they feel like they had to defend themselves, Spirit? Something happened, Libra, with this person. Something happened in the past. There was no independence. This man caused this tower. I think this man left this woman in the past and hurt this woman deeply. And it was unequal and there was no commitment for this person. Somebody from the past is coming back. But it's ended with her. Can you show me Sagittarius is here? It might be a Sagittarius. And it might be somebody who's getting public recognition for their work. And there might be somebody that's incarcerated or in jail in your life. Alright, Spirit, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? <coughs> Let's get you a message out of here, Libra. Let's see what Spirit has to say to you out of this day. You know, what message do you have for Libra? Wishing. There's something that you've been wishing for, and Spirit's saying that you're about to see some movement about these wishes. Wishes and movement. Wishing and movement. Wishing and movement. 
number 19. Here, Jan Janison, Jan Janison, Janison, wishing. Choosing this symbol means you are at a wonderful junction in your life where in imagination and preparation can align with the web of power. My dear one, I hear your prayers, I know your heart, and I know what, it is, what is for your highest good. Dreams do come true. Make sure your dream serves the highest purpose and does not take away from another. Be careful what you wish for. Remember, the coins tossed in a wishing well for every wish there is a, piece to be, a price to be paid. Are you ready to spend the time and energy that your granted wish will require? Now is the time your wish will be fulfilled. So Spirit's about to fulfill a wish for you. And I said that earlier. <coughs> Number 29, movement. This is a time of change and movement and a symbol for wonderful surprises. If you have been waiting for something, you will soon have clarity. You will get answers you thought would never come, and you will move closer to things that were out of reach before. Perhaps this card predicts a trip that you've always wanted to take. The symbol for movement can indicate both a change of scene and a real shift in the direction of your life. No matter what this symbol holds for question, know that wonderful change is now possible. This is the time to make your move. So, something you've always wished for is about to happen for you. How are you working in Libra's Psychic Ability Spirit? Hearts and Nature. So, you might be wanting to work with people who have broken hearts and use your natural abilities to help these people heal. Maybe you've been through something that you've had to heal from. And Spirit's saying, now is not the time to play it small. It's time to dream big, make your wish, movement is coming. Spirit is going to make a miracle happen for you, Libra. A couple of miracles is what I'm seeing. Okay, I'm hearing the name Sandy. And I keep hearing Jameson. Jansen. Something like that. <clears throat> Alright, so that's your message. Can I please get some tips to the creative spirit? Alright, neighbor, I have an arrow that says love. I have a piece of um, lapis. And I do have uh, my throat chakra keeps trying to close. I have a bird. A lotus flower. <laughs> two towers a tail a whale or mermaid tail I have an elephant an elephant holding on to a starfish for dear life <laughs> I have an elephant an elephant a flamingo a turtle wouldn't be your reading without a turtle now would it I have a clown maybe you love clowns I used to love clowns when I was little I still do. I have a flower, but that movie, it kind of creeped me out just a tad about clowns. I have the word love, and it really didn't creep me out as much as it made other people make fun of me. <laughs> Weakness is a choice. I have an infinity sign. I have a cat. I have a windmill. I have wishes really do come true. I have a fancy cross. I have a unicorn. I have made with love twice, <laughs> double made with love, two identical made, identical made, maybe you make crafts, I have a skull and crossbones, I have a leaf, I have another elephant, and I have a tree of life. I think it's coming for the world to the Holy Spirit for the sign of Libra. Alright, Libra. Oh. I have a music note with a skull. I have an angel. I have a tree of life. I have a skull. I have a star of David. Hi, David. I have kind, free, true to your heart, strong, happy, at peace, brave, thankful, and compassionate. I have an infinity sign. I have an arrow. Maybe you have a Sagittarius placement or you have a Sagittarius in your life. I have a piece of my quartz crystal. I have a cactus. You know what that means, Libra. I have cherries. I have I love you to the moon and back. 
You are my sunshine. I have a piece of tiger's eye. I have a tower. I have forever. I have love and beloved. I have the love between a grandmother and granddaughter is forever. I have a little dog tag. Maybe somebody you love or have loved has been in the military. I have a horse. I have no matter where. I have a cash sign. And I have that cool ass spirit wearing that bandana. Alright, rocks please spirit for the sign of Libra. If that doesn't represent my friend to you, which I'm sure it might, then it might represent a pirate. Maybe you're a pirate. Alright. I have blessed, peace, faith, inspire, courage, and wealth. Way to go, Libra. Alright, Libras, I love you guys. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and as always, comment and let me know what's going on with you, how it resonates. If it doesn't, let me know that so I can do something different. Alright, you guys be blessed, and I'll be back later with some more messages. Bye!